Gillingham starting lineup. Unused subs, Tom Hadler, Connor Ajilvy, Ben Nugent, Jake Hessenthaler and Naveed Nasseri. Gillingham 0 Elliott List, 94, Yellow Cards, Mark Byrne, 35, Red Card, None Ball Possession, 42% Mom, Lee Martin Attendance 9,715, 410 Gillingham Fans, Bristol Rovers 0 Dom Telford, 86, Yellow Cards, Ellis Harrison, 45, Kyle Bennett, 52, Red Card, None Ball Possession, 58% Mom, N, A Substitute Elliott List scored his first goal this season in stoppage time to reward Gills with a deserved draw. The point earned will keep the team in League One for next season and was just reward for a spirited display in this match. Not a classic but a disputed offside goal in the first half from Lee Martin, see below, would have made it easier on the nerves. However it was a much improved performance from the previous week against Blackpool. A good crowd inside the Memorial Stadium watched a typical end-of-season match that meant little to Rovers but with Gills still needing a point to guarantee safety, a great deal more for manager Steve Lovell and the Gills team. Lovell made four changes from the Blackpool defeat and restored Tomas Holy and goal. He also brought back Bradley Garmston, Scott Wagstaff and Gabriel Zakuani who came in for Conor Ajilvy, Jake Hessendaller and Ben Nugent. Gills started very well, challenging for every second ball and causing Bristol players to make mistakes as they were chased across the pitch. On four minutes Gills could have taken an early lead when a strong run from Bradley Garmston down the left and, after cutting in, he sent over a decent cross to the back post. Scott Wagstaff hesitated, put off by Josh Parker, who acrobatically got his effort away from around six yards that was well saved by Rovers goalie Sam Slocum. Gills keeping the pressure on any Rovers player with the ball they were looking good at the home side were restricted to half chances and long-range efforts. When Rovers did manage to get close enough to Tomas Holy, the Gills' defensive unit were in much stronger form. Emmer and Gabriel Zakuani were superb at the back at the midfield were performing much better than of late. It took nearly 25 minutes before Rovers threatened the Gills when Tom Nichols sped into space and from 25 yards sent a right-footed effort which flashed just wide of Holy's right post and crashed into the netting staging. Two minutes later and Gills scored only to have the goal disallowed for offside. Mark Burns' long throw found the hard-working Tom Eves who managed to beat his man and get an effort away which struck the post. The ball rebounded out to Lee Martin who put the ball into the empty net but his joy was short-lived. Gills were finishing the half strongly and Tom Eves had a header plucked out of the air by goalie Slocum before Scott Wagstaff had a firm shot into the arms of the Rovers keeper. Just before the halftime break Gills very nearly brought disaster on themselves with a the poor underhead back pass from Bradley Garmston, not the first time in the match. Rovers Harrison was quick to see the goal chance and Tomas Holy also had to be quick off his line to narrow the chance. Harrison made a slide toward the ball, making contact first, but the angle was too tight and his pushed effort went wide of the far post. Halftime Bristol Rovers 0 v Gills 0 The second period started with Rovers in much more determined mood having possibly had a talking to by their boss in the break. They nearly took the lead on 50 minutes after picking up a Max Emmer clearance Liam Sircombe drove a 25-yard effort that had to be well saved by Tomas Holy. Minutes later the same player had another on-target effort saved by the Gills goalie. 54 minutes and Gills really should have taken the lead following a Luke O'Neill free kick that was superbly sent into the six-yard box and the Gills captain met the ball unchallenged only to see his headed effort go just over the bar. Callum Riley also went close when he fired an effort just past the Rovers' post. With time running out and Gills on top there seemed little danger of Gills not getting something out of the match. However with four minutes remaining of normal time, Bristol Rovers got themselves in front when Gills allowed a runner produce a cross from the left byline that had Tomas Holy making a brilliant save but Rovers substitute Dom Telford Wright happened to be in the right position to fire at first effort that was also blocked before Telford was again able to head home the rebound from six yards out. Gills piled forward seeking a deserved equalizer and disaster was averted in stoppage time as Elliot List did well under pressure inside the box beating several defenders to finally beat goalie Slocum to fire under his body into the net for a deserved share of the points. Elliot List celebrates his goal.